Good morning, viewer, on this um, fine May morning in 2023. And this video is talking about um, a disease which affects trees, including macadamia trees, called Phytophthora, which is, it's what I read it up, looked up on Wikipedia, is the death of plants, and more specifically trees, and that's a disease which is a fungal caused by fungi and um, affects the roots of the tree and affects the health of the, tr the tree and it could affect it and can kill a tree. And at the start of this video, you saw a picture of a, of a, of a tree that was wounded with cracked bark and um, was suffering quite badly. And now I'll show you the same tree. And that, that, that picture was taken back last year in 2022, roughly a year ago. And I want to show you this tree today, this morning. And here it is here, and it's not perfect, but it's doing much better. And um, you can see the wound that it's suffered from, that, that, that it was suffering from. This, this cracked bark is pretty clearly caused by um, something, and that something is probably Phytophthora. And so I want to talk about what I did to try to deal with this problem. The five things that I did. So looking up online and talking to people, um, a few things recommended to deal with um, Phytophthora. Um, firstly, a lot of people recommended to apply um, organic matter mulch to the tree to to um, give it, give the tree some nutrition. And here we've got a um, container of mulch, um, wood chip that has been heavily broken down. Um, people also recommended applying a, a fungicide to the tree. In this case, I purchased a, um, a tub of metal axle, about $200 worth, uh, but it goes a long way. I'll have a look at that in a minute. But, um, thirdly, I decided to apply some charcoal to it. Uh, I've read a lot of places charcoal um, can help um, high in potassium. Potassium is made up of, um, it comes with the word of potash, so it can't hurt. And, fine, and fourthly, I decided to um, apply some lime as well, um, some powdered lime. Finally, and I can't show this on YouTube, I, I decided to um, urinate on the tree a few times and yes so maybe one of those one of those things definitely helped maybe they all helped maybe a few of them helped but I don't think any of them hurt so let's see next how I did this All right, so I'll go and grab the stuff off the back of the truck and I'll show you, especially the metal axle powder that we put down first. So this is the metal axle. It's a granular, not really granular, it's powder. And um, we'll apply a little bit of that the tree, not very much. Put the lid back on. Okay, next I'll apply the, the bit of the lime. Okay. Next, I'll apply the charcoal. And finally, we'll apply the wood chip. Oh, I'll just dump it out. Okay. 
So that's what we did last year. Um, it seems to have worked. This is not a cockatoos. Um, this is not a guide on what to do if you've got Phytophthora. Um, but it's what, what I did. And um, it seems that seems to have helped this tree recover and get a lot healthier than what it was. So keep, in, keep this in mind if you've got some trees that are got suffering from Phytophthora. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.